guys, Phil from Steamboat Willies. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a wireless furl so you can roll up your sails and be lazy like me. We'll be using this 2500 winch from Badland and we're going to put it right on the front of our boat. It has an automatic or a wireless key fob that we're going to be using to control it once we get it set up so that it can roll up the sail. The free release mechanism, uh, which is actuated by that button on the right there, that's going to come off, uh, be sacrificed for the, uh, uh, for the new function of the unit. All right, well, let's get to work. Our plan is to make a stepped collar that will fit over the end of the spool and fit through the bearing support where it will attach to the sail. In order to do that, we have to cut down the spool and then get to work. this bar of aluminum, one and a half inch aluminum. And what we're going to do is we're going to hollow it out so it fits over the spool and then we're going to taper it down on the end so it comes out through the bushing. size, which is a little less than uh, 0.75, we're going to use this very inexpensive axial bearing that's going to allow us to spin this shaft while the pull of the sail is on. So, never want to put a bearing or any kind of moving surface on aluminum and steel because it's just going to gouge the aluminum and bind up. So we're going to use these washers that come with it. Put that on like that. Now we have a bearing surface that will spin. It goes through here. Oh, there we are. Our slot. Slot was made the old-fashioned way. My mill has a ground fault. And that's gonna go. The spring pin is gonna be in through there. Fits together like that. It goes through. So all we need now is to get a spring pin. You can see it here. And it's going to work. And it'll drive and drive the pulley. There. Okay. okay. Now that we have our plate drilled and all our holes drilled, I think we can set up and do our that's the assembly. So we're going to put that in back in here, just like that. Tap it lightly. Then we got our bearing on our aluminum. 
that's going to go in there with the bushings, or rather the washers. It's going to go right there, like that. And I can put the, the piece through. This is the what's going to hold the line for a test. See how it works. Lock that on. It's going to have that going okay. And then, all right. extra stuff out of the way. All right, now that I got that, we're going to load this back onto the motor. It's supposed to be feels engaged. Put the screws back in. We got the holes in the end that we're going to use to mount the cable so that this can be supported by the bearing surface and not a cantilever, which would be supported over here with a bending force. All right, so with that being said, we have our device set up. Ability to pull, turn. Wired up, so let's give it a shot. First, we hit the on button. Turn it. And we'll turn it the opposite. There we have it. There's our bench test. It's working pretty good. All right, let's get it out in the yard and see how it works on the sale. Okay, you can see how the motor turns the sail with the full weight of the sail on it. You can see how the collar slides over to allow the weight uh, to pull against the bearing. And Let's give the battery a little more juice. All right up.